Hey there, YouTube. <gasps> Who's that girl? It's me. I'm just kidding. So it's Lola here, and I thought I'd come back and do a. It's going to be a running diary because the amount of times I've tried to shoot a running diary in London, and my Canon camera has just not wanted to upload it. Okay, so it's been a while, right? But I did do the marathon, honest. So um, I'm going to see if I can put some pictures up of my beautiful medal uh, because it really is beautiful. Uh, London Marathon. It was great. Um, so the week before the race, as part of my taper, I was waking up early and running every morning to get me used to waking up really early and running the marathon. But I it was just really good. Preparation, of course, I hated waking up early, but mm, you gotta do what you gotta and do. And then on the day, oh my gosh, nerves.com. I mean, there were so many people. But we started, we kept running, and things were just, it was awesome. Like, the crowds, oh my gosh, when they say the crowds are amazing, you do not want to sleep on these crowds. They were amazing. There were several people everywhere. I'm mean, all waving and cheering and screaming out my name because I had Lola ironed on to my Macmillan shirt. Thank you, Macmillan. So I'm still raising money for Macmillan because I haven't reached my target yet. Um, I have 2,000 pounds to raise people. So please. I'm probably going to be also doing some more fundraising events of some sort um, this year. Um, London Midnight Runners, we met up and took a picture at the beginning just before we actually set off and uh, then, they said they'd be at 21 miles so 21 miles comes and I'm like I see the mile marker where are these people and then where suddenly I look up and there's a banner they have a banner people I didn't even okay. know. and then there they were all in the line next to the banner and so I high-fived everyone as I ran past it was awesome that just like filled me with so much more energy and I just kept going I did not actually start to feel like my legs were starting to tire um, in pain until at least like tw mile 25 actually and then at 800 meters to the end I was like let me speed up then it's at 600 meters to the end I'm like let me slow down because this is uh, longer than I thought <laughs> and then it was like 437 meters the yards to the end I was like that's very specific but whatever and then I did my one in a million post and crossed the finish line they were like stop as soon as we crossed the finish line which was a bit crazy because there was a lot of us running but whatever I missed the um the crazy golden goal time that I had set for myself which was um three hours and 30 minutes but I did get three hours and 43 minutes and 43 seconds which is Good enough for age for me to enter automatically into next year's, which I have. So, uh, watch this face, people. And since then, I have been crazy reading yeah. books by ultra marathoners Eat and Run by Scott Jurek, a bay. Um, Born to Run by Chris McDougall, uh, and Running with the Kenyans, of course, by. Arandaran Finn. I can't actually pronounce his name properly. Um, but I'm also currently reading The Way of the Runner by the same author, A. Finn. But I will see you guys around. This is great, right?